Can a Christian get a demon by listening to secular music? I've seen Christians, even when I preached at places, would literally demons coming out of them, they're Christian. Ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now. Obviously, all y'all going to hell. Okay, okay. What did you say? <laughs> this song's addictive. Uh -huh. You're addicted to this music. You're yeah. listening to it over and over and over, and he's possessing your soul. The music is possessing your soul. Kingdom Team Live. Hey, welcome to Kingdom Team Live. This is Terry Cuthbertson. And sorry, my voice sounds this way. I'm suffering with a cold, but I have my really good friend, revivalist and prophet, Joshua Banks. And uh, he was here at the church speaking. And last night during, a, uh, during the sermon, he mentioned something that piqued my interest and I wanted to talk to him about it. He was talking and giving a dire warning to Christians who were listening, uh, who, who are listening to secular music. And he was saying, if people know how much satanic uh, rituals, worship, uh, demonic imagery is put already into music. And so I thought, man, I'd love to get him on to talk about this. And he's brought a couple videos that he wants me to watch. I want to warn you, this is going to be adult content. So if you have children, uh, this is not the one for them to watch. Uh, this is not safe for work. I'm going to do my best to bleep out language. Uh, but the topics still are going to be pretty gross uh, and pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, anyways, it's this is not for kids, okay? <laughs> Hear me on that. So with no further ado, I'm going to introduce you to my really good friend. This is Joshua Burns. What's up, everybody? What's, what's going, going on? on friend? Glad to be here. I'm excited about this one. This is going to be a good one because I feel like it's it's good content, but it's also informative. Yeah. So, and I think that a lot of you know Christian people they need to know is not that you know we're trying to strip your fun away. No. Nah. But there's 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 much more going on behind the scenes that you need to know that you might be open up open up a door to. So. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. And I think I think people don't understand that. I, I I think you know, I think a lot of Christians just when when they. And it's funny, man, because no matter how much you talk to them about it, yeah. <laughs> they come at you with, uh, you're being a legalist. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm just, I just like the, I like the, I like the beat. I just right, love the beat, you right, know? Yeah. And, uh, or I like the vibe. And it's like, well, a vibe is moving your spirit. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, so it, in fact, a vibe is short for vibrations. That's exactly right. So, uh, yeah. I, don't, I mean, we got to be careful what we're putting in. We do. No, you're right. But that shows you, um, uh, there's an undertone of how addicted they are when they answer like that because yeah. it shows you because you're touching something that's so precious to them uh, and they don't even might not even know how it became so precious yeah, that on. shows you how much that it actually has a hook on them and they don't even know it and so uh, so it's, it's it's a serious thing and it, it, you at least have to have the knowledge and understanding about it to, you know so you can make a, a wise decision about cutting it out of your life because ultimately that's what you need to do if you're a believer for sure. Uh, so go ahead and set up this clip for us. So a, a lot of people know this guy. A lot of people know little, little Uzi Vert is what they call him and uh, what he calls himself. Yeah. And a lot of people know this guy. Uh, and this guy is a very out there with his um, Satanism and things like that. Um, his, uh, he considers Marilyn Manson his spiritual mentor. And, uh, so anyway, so he's at a, they're doing a concert and uh, so they're uh, getting ready to switch songs. And uh, during this concert, uh, he starts to tell the fans what's really going on yeah. and what they're really in for by listening to his music. All his fans, they listen yeah. to all of his stuff. And by the way, I mean, his, his music's used on TikTok. Every, uh, everywhere. It, it, it's, it, this, is a, this is a hot artist right now. This is yeah. like, this is someone who is, who is well known, who's being listened to by multiple generations you know mm -hmm. um and and so listen listen to this warning if you if you're telling me at this point because because he cause he's saying you can you can say i'm listening to the beat but listen what he's saying yeah. and and this is the quality of the video there's nothing i can do about that <laughs> hold on let me explain something real quick before everybody starts screaming and saying oh like i told y'all earlier you motherfuckers Enter the rapture, and if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Okay, okay. What did he just say? <laughs> what did he just say? This is the middle of his concert. He uh -huh. said what? He said y'all just missed the rapture, uh -huh. and if none of y'all going up, you're all going to hell with me. Is yes, that what he said? That's exactly what he that's said. That's what he said. Yeah. I didn't make that up. I'm yeah. not. I'm not projecting something. 
Yeah. I mean, how, why would why would you say that? Why mm-hmm. would you say that? Yeah. yeah. You, like, was that the vibe of the comedy? Like, <laughs> you, you can feel the uh, you can hear the awkwardness. You hear the crowd get kind of quiet. Like, yeah, whoa, yeah, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. 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 Watch this. Right with me. So, let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times, and you didn't even know. That's. <laughs> He's, he's saying, man, this song's addictive. Uh-huh. You're addicted to this music. You're yeah. listening to it over and over and over, and he's possessing your soul. The it, music it, is possessing your soul. It maybe, may listen, maybe you could be a Christian and listen to this, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you can't be a Christian and listen to this and not open the door to a demon. This is exactly when right. he is telling you that's the purpose of it. <laughs> the enemy always tells you what he the enemy is, it, y'all. Yep, always. But I still like you. Hold on, it kind of replays over and over. Before everybody starts screaming, listen this one more time. Like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. So, let's get it. I mean, I, I don't... I, I don't know how to help you if you if you're still gonna argue at this point. I mean, if you're still arguing at this point, I don't know how to help you. Yeah, I mean, he literally. There's another interview with him, and he talks about uh, the. the um, uh, Is it mind control? It, yes, hypnosis or mind control. Yeah, where he's being interviewed and he's telling the interviewer, you know, why she can't get the music out of her head, and he's just telling her, yeah, it's, it's mind control, like it's hypnosis. I mean, he's just, he he's very blunt about his about the stuff, you know. So he ain't even trying to hide who. No, is. not at all, not at all. And the thing is that people will say, oh, well, this that's just this guy. No, this is, uh, uh, I would dare to say, almost all of them. All right, here we go. Watch this. <laughs> Look at him, man. my brain. Do you know that? It's living rent-free. I can't get it out. You did that. Yeah, it's hypnosis. <laughs> yeah, it's hypnosis. <laughs> hypnosis. <laughs> See, I just like the beat. I just like the I just like the beat. Nope. I, I'm only listening because I like the beat. Pastor, <laughs> why are you a legalist? Why are you a, why why do you care? I just like the, I'm not listening to the words. Right. I'm not listening to the words. You don't have to. Don't That's have not to, how man. mind control works. Nope. Mind control works by putting thoughts into your mind when you're not paying attention That's to exactly it. That's exactly right. That's how that works. Yes. So uh, uh, I don't even know. I mean, literally, I don't know what to do for you. If if yeah. you can hear this, because what what, what you gonna say? And here's what they're gonna say. Uh, this is what they're gonna say. They're going to say, well, this is just an act he's putting on. Right. But I'll tell you right now, the thing about Satanism is they tell you what they, they have to. They have to tell you what they do. Mm-hmm. They can't hide it. Yeah. And so what they do is they make jokes. They use sarcasm. They tell you. But I'm going to tell you right now, the enemy always tells you what the enemy's doing. Always. Always. And so you can't be shocked when you're messing around with the enemy. Yeah. And then he's actually doing what he says he does. So why thought it was a joke? Yeah. He's like, well, I never said it was a joke. Right. Well, you said it with a smirk. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. He's the master of manipulation. So yeah. that's exactly the part of it. It's like a double yeah. whammy, man. It's like, because it, you're right. A part of the Satanist religion or the cult that they have is that uh, it will not be held against them in hell or on their conscience if they expose it. That's right. So you, whether you believe it or not, or whether they give it to you in a way where, where, where you don't, you, is you think it's too wild to be true, well, that's better for them because number one, you don't believe it, but also too, they got it out of their system to tell you, mm-hmm. and so uh, so that's why you see it all through the movies, you see it through the music. I mean, it's just, uh, and I don't know why it's so hard for people to digest. I mean, you know, like the guy in the video before, he said that music was like the new crack, you know. And mm-hmm. what do you do when you deal with addicts, man? Is that you tell them, hey, this is killing you, but they're so addicted to it that they defend it. Yep. You know, they defend their own death, and that's honestly, sadly, what a lot of Christians are doing. Yep. They're defending their own their own death, man. Okay, so watch this. It's like, all right, so it's just, it's just, listen, it's only, listen, I'm going to help some you out, okay? <laughs> it's only, it's only rap doing this, right? So the music I listen to, that's not the problem. It's right. it's just rap music, all right? Yeah. All right, watch this. You know, okay, go ahead. What were you, what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, 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 that, okay. that wasn't what I was looking for anyway, so okay. I'll keep looking. No, no, no. Uh, if you go look, there, there's an article. People can go look at it. Uh, it just came out where she was on tour recently, and by the thousands, people were saying uh, they were going to a psychiatrist because they couldn't remember. They When they went to her concert, they couldn't remember yeah. what happened. 
like they remember going in and remember coming out and leaving and they couldn't remember by the i'm talking about thousands yeah and they were all going it was, it was so big it was a news a couple of news outlets talked about it um and and they call it this they call it this phenomenon that takes place but basically they went in and something happened through her music where yeah. they totally lost they don't know what happened to them Come on. <laughs> i mean it's just like yeah and people and i don't know but you have people defended like oh that's a, that well, happens so but the, the concert that everyone was going to too like she's openly doing witchcraft um in fact i was trying to find this scene but there's a literal scene where she's doing witchcraft bro yeah. watch this i mean like she's just straight doing witchcraft <laughs> on the stage you know in front of everyone i mean that that's what she's doing right now like she's dressed like a witch. Okay, well, you know, it's it's only it's so it's only rap and, and pop music, right? right? It can't be anything else, right. right? And 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 people what they do is they call this art. D do you yeah. know that black magic is called art? Yeah, it's the art of black magic. It's like that's arts, what it is. Yeah. And and people, because uh, you know, you take away the culture, right? Yeah. When you look at these things, why why on all these concerts, all these people they're always dressed in this this black red evil hell fire all this stuff all the time you think it's just oh it's just art it's just what they do all of them really they all just do that no man they're doing this I, we live in a spiritual yeah. realm man and these people know this stuff like yeah. they this is not I, I think people but these people these artists and these people behind the scenes believe more in the supernatural yeah. and practice these things more than a lot of christians do man it's crazy because they they're just laughing man at, at us you know <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't know how to help people that don't see it at this point. It's in the country music. It's in pop music. It's, it, but it's been going on for a while. Oh, and we've yeah, been ignoring it for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and what happens is it starts innocent. Right. And it starts with suggestions and jokes. But before long, you're overstepping, right? Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And I would say the most important thing is what you're feeding yourself right. is going to change your mood. It's going to change your thought processes. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the conversations I had with my oldest daughter when she was a teenager was just like, you would be upset if I came in the house cussing and talking about, you know, drugs and, and right. you know, yelling and yeah. all this stuff. But you'll let a stranger come in and do that come stuff. Come on now. Drop, the, drop cuss words, talk about sexuality, mm -hmm. talk about things we don't even believe in. Like, mm -hmm. you'd be okay with that, but you're not going to be okay if I did it. Right. So why would we want a stranger to do something we know ourselves we shouldn't be doing? Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And so, like, I, I don't know, man. Like, when I see that stuff... I worry. I worry that people are taking things like they just don't believe. I don't know. They just don't believe what's going on. You yeah. know. Yeah. So and and it's in our culture, so we need to be wise about it. Right. Absolutely. No, you're right, man. Absolutely. You wouldn't believe the amount of even in deliverance or things that happen like that with demons coming out, man. How you know? Because a lot of times, what happens when, when when demons are coming out of people, they'll expose who they are and what's going on. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't believe, man, the the ones that tell you how they got there through music or through this thing. Yep. They, they say they got. I mean, for real. And it's, I mean, what do you do, man? You try to tell people these things, and but again, it's the addiction. That's the thing. Yep. The hypnosis it makes you addicted to it. Yeah. So when you try to take sugar away from somebody who loves sugar, man, they'll fight you for it. <laughs> yeah. And you know, part of it, like, now watch this. Here's another one. Here's another one. Watch this. This is crazy. I'm just, I'm just we're, I'm gonna piece all this together. I think. But yeah, for sure. You gotta see this stuff, man. Some of y'all just not seeing this stuff. All right. So this is uh, Whoa Vicky, and mm -hmm. she's exposing Little Nas X. And remember, we talked earlier. We we're showing you earlier that part of being a part of this is. You've got to compromise yourself, mm -hmm. and homosexuality is one of the ways they do it. Mm -hmm. It's it's called uh, what, what what was the term? So, breaking, uh, well, yeah, buck breaking, buck breaking. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, that's plantation language. Mm -hmm. This is I'm telling you, a lot of this stuff is just different forms of slavery that's it. that people are getting themselves into. That's it. Yeah. So watch this though. What you think about Lil Nas X? I feel like he needs Jesus. What about Lil Uzi? He needs Jesus too. I, they both definitely sold their soul. I wanted to say this about Lil Nas X. I got a few friends that went to school with him and they said he was never gay. So Are you I, serious? So I know for a fact like what he doing is because like they told him like you got to do this now if you want. So, so you feel me. like he not really gay? Like, I feel like ain't nobody really gay in Jesus name. Amen. Like <laughs> <laughs> she stuck with it, man. <laughs> Jesus name. She's like man. I'm already canceled. You can't do anything yeah. to me at this point. I love it. Oh, that's so funny, man. Yeah. So nobody's gay in Jesus name. <laughs> I love that, man. So, yeah. but definitely, it seems like he's going against his own. Um, his own interest in this, you know. It's getting 
popularity, getting you money, getting you views. So it's like selling yourself. Like you do right. this, you going with the whoop. What do you think of the music in the entertainment industry? Like it's just demonic. The industry, it's like you have to do certain things to get that. So I believe he had to do certain things to get where he's going. And like wow. the certain things is you got to do this and lead people this way and lead people that way. And, she, and, she, and she's in the industry. These are people who yeah. are live this life. That like not people who are just like on the computers looking. No, these people are yeah. in this industry in Hollywood doing, yeah. and they're coming out about these things. So somebody needs to be paying attention. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's coming straight out of the horse's mouth. You yeah. Know? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not calling uh, Whoa, well, Vicky a horse. No, 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 way. she's not. A... <laughs> now that's listen. We'll, we'll leave that to the uh, music executives that are uh, that are that are selling y'all soul. They be, they're they're the ones treating y'all like cattle again. Yeah, man. for real. So, um, so I, I hope I hope young Christians will hear me. I I think I think it's one of those things, man. I, it's it's the ones who are young, on fire, just saved. Uh, if you've been serving the Lord for 20 years, going to church for 20 years, and you're still listening to this garbage, man, I need you need to ask the Holy Spirit why you don't feel conviction, why you think we're just being legalist, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, your soul is in danger, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And so it matters. It matters what goes on, man. Yeah, so absolutely, yeah, yeah. No, that's good, man. That's good stuff. I, I, we need to be, we need to be, you know what it is, brother? Yeah. We need to be humble because yeah, I think we, we people are so prideful. They yeah. think they can handle it. Like people who you drink a lot, they think, oh, I can handle my alcohol. And, they, and then for, at the end of the night, man, they're stumbling. So you got to take, it's the same thing, man. The spirit so realm good. is that we think we can handle these demons. Yeah. <laughs> we think we, we're good, right? We know what we're doing. And the supernatural world and the spiritual world, you 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 can't, you can't handle it. Yeah. It's way beyond your natural ability. So good. So you know, Pract and practice comes before fall, man. It does. So yeah. you're prideful. They they that oh, I'm different. I'm different. Yeah. Some of these people they they they're suggestible, yeah. and I'm not. It's right. like uh, because <laughs> again, if it's mind control, it's not. It's not about. I, I, let's go back to the Taylor Swift thing. Okay. Yeah. She looks innocent. Right. But you got girls that were spending, girl, yeah, people. You got people that spending thousands of dollars. People who didn't have money were spending thousands of dollars to go to this concert. Right. And in this concert, man, she's celebrating openly, you know, the LGBT community, transgenders mm -hmm. are in her videos. Uh, there's witchcraft imagery everywhere. Um, and, and you're paying high prices to be a part of it, you know? Yeah. And, 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 I don't know, man. It seems like it, 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 when you talk about it being an addiction, that's what this is. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, it's foolishness to think, well, that addiction won't affect me. It's like, listen. That's what all addicts say. All addicts say that. I can quit whenever I want. Okay, then do it. Mm -hmm. Quit. Yeah. Quit. Because I'm telling you, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Taylor Swift, um, look, at, look at country stars. Garth Brook at this point, man. These people have sold their soul. Mm -hmm. And they are now a part of selling a new agenda. Yeah. And the agenda doesn't have you in mind. <laughs> not it, it's not about you being successful. They mm -hmm. don't want you to be successful. They want you to be dumb, broke, mm -hmm. you know, addicted, uh -huh. and, 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 and blind to the spiritual reality that you... See, here's the crazy thing. They are getting millions of dollars for their soul. And you're giving it away for a song. Wow. 99 cents on, on a... I mean, that's not that way anymore. It used to be 99 cents on iTunes, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you're you're giving it away for $14.99 a month on on your uh Spotify subscription. Yep. So you're paying to give your soul away. Yeah. They got millions. That's it. Wow, that's good, man. Now, I mean, they've done higher things than you've done, but I'm telling you, everything they're doing, they're telling you you should do, and you're being drawn into it. Yeah. For free. Yeah. Actually, you're paying them to do it. Paying them to do it. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's the ultimate setup, man. It's wild. Yeah. yeah. So, no, nah, man, that's good stuff. And uh, I, we really need to just, I mean, honestly, you know, the truth is the truth. And uh, yeah. who takes it will take it. But we, we can't stop, you know, speaking the truth and speaking yeah. the facts, man. And so people need to, I mean, so, really drop this. So can a Christian get a demon by listening to secular music? Listen, what I have seen is that I've seen Christians, even when I preached at places, with literally demons coming out of them, they're Christians. 
So I know there was a whole thing. I mean, I was raised that that wasn't the case or that couldn't happen. And then I got in ministry and I see that it's happening. Yeah. Um, so you got to, so, so it, with this new, it's not a new phenomenon, but a, a new, um, I guess, thing being exposed or, 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 or a new truth that's coming out is that Christians, for number one, can't have them. I think I wouldn't call it too far-fetched to say that they can't because yeah. we have to say, well, where are they getting them from? If they're serving God, they're Christians, where are they getting them from? Was it just because they get them from before they were saved or are they getting them through music? Yeah. I believe that they absolutely can. And yeah. um, and I have, I, I was a young man who I grew up in church and things like that. And I used to listen to Lil Wayne a lot. Mm -hmm. I used to jam his stuff, man. Lil <laughs> Weezy. I almost, I almost went, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Okay. I don't know what that means though, so I didn't do it. Yeah. I don't. But I jammed him, man. And I kid you not, like it was so I would listen to his Carter albums over yeah. hours, yeah. like yeah. like five hours a day, man. And that stuff, I would feel those emotions, cool. I would feel those things. And I would do things, man, that was not I wasn't raised to do, but because mm -hmm. I listened to it, I was influenced. Mm -hmm. Right. And so what was influencing me? Was it just his words or was it something deeper? Because right. It stuck with me, and, yeah. so, and I had to be delivered from that stuff, man, for real. And uh, and so I, I believe, from what I've seen, I believe so. I think that the reason also we see Christians, there's so many demons coming out of people is because of the doors, these little yeah. bitty things that we call culture yeah, yeah, that yeah. are not culture. Yeah. They're actually doors, yeah. and they're because we're in a we're in a spiritual battle, whether people so, like it or not. We're in a spiritual war. Yeah. The right, the, the natural is affected by the supernatural, yeah. and so as we're just right here pedaling around, like yeah, it's just the culture, it's what we do, it's the music, but man, these these things are coming from somewhere, and so anyway, so I I, I definitely I believe that I believe yeah. that th yeah, that, I, that they can. My, I agree with you. I think you can get a demon from listening. Uh, let me ask you this: You mm. think the Holy Spirit wants to hang out, and listen to the music you're listening to? No. So you think the? I mean, honestly, like it's like, well, I can't have a demon because I have the Holy Spirit in me. You think the Holy Spirit is gonna sit there and listen? to the garbage you're putting in your body right now? Come on now. Come on. Yes. So at minimal, okay, even if you don't think you can get a demon, I don't think you're gonna have, I don't think you're gonna be a good temple for the Holy Spirit. And, yeah. and I think you're gonna grieve the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, that's yeah. a risk in itself, that you would grieve the Holy Spirit, that you would put the Holy Spirit in a position where he's gotta listen to the garbage yeah. that you know in your heart is not just the beat. It's not about the beat. Don't right. lie to yourself. Yeah. They don't care about the beat. In fact, I'll tell you right now, they're dumbing down music because oh, yeah. they want you to be dumber. That's exactly right, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, look at music. If you go from the 50s to the 60s and on and on, and I know you can find dumb music in every generation, yeah. but it's like the music's getting dumber and, and simpler and yes. and more just uh, low, like that low, you yeah. know. Low beats of vibration low beats, and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So they're, they're, they're dumbing you down. Mm -hmm. They're dumbing you down. Right. And so right. you need to pay attention to this stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, it's good, man. It's on repeat. And like we talked about last night, that no matter what genre it is, yeah. they always talk about, I, I shared this last night, that I just talked to these teenage boys and I would tell them, what are the three things, because some of them listen to rap, some of them listen to rock, some of them listen to country or whatever. Yeah. I said, what are the three things that all three of them have in common that they always talk about? It's always about alcohol, yep. always about sex. And usually about drugs or the old their old lifestyle of yeah. how they live. Yeah. How in the world in every radio station that's the topic of what's going yeah. on? How? Well, no matter what, how you divide the music up, no matter what genre, it's because it's all on purpose. Do we think that the world and these people that do these things? Do we think that they're really that disorganized where it just happened to be happened so? No. These people are not stupid, no. you know. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're smart and they're brilliant, yeah. and yeah, so they're all on the same team. Yeah. And it, it's all about you getting hooked yeah. to give them their your money, and then at the same time they're pouring the the, the devil's junk into you. Yeah, I mean, right. it's it's just that simple. And so there's no yeah. way around it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I, I would just say this. I would say uh, as a Christian, why risk it? Mm -hmm. If you love the Lord, why risk it? Mm -hmm. Why risk it? I mean, honestly, why risk it? Yeah. Why listen to the stuff that's inviting you to do the things you know that Jesus wouldn't be pleased with you doing anyways? Mm -hmm. And I also say, man, if you've been listening to it a while and you can't let it go, you probably need deliverance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and because because there's something that's got a hold of your soul, mm -hmm. and and demons are looking for bodies to embody so that they can get the pleasures they once experienced, and mm -hmm. they can only experience in your body. Mm -hmm. So you're literally opening doors so that they can get the pleasure from the thing that's ruining your soul. Mm -hmm. So if I was you, man, I'd say, and, and listen, I, while we're on this case, 
Not all Christian music is Christian music either. So go to the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit, what should I be listening to? And if you're listening to music, even if it calls itself Christian, and you feel the grieving of the Holy Spirit, turn it off. Listen to something different. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, man, I I just think think ultimately that's that's a good thing. So, all right. Hey, how about this? Let's end by, um, let's pray for some people. Will you pray for people uh, right now who uh, just, they, they just need, they need, they need to let go of secular music. Right. And if they don't still believe you, let's just pray that God opens their eyes. Amen. Yes, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Lord God, we come to you right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, God. And I pray right now for, for first of all, Lord God, for you to bring a revelation to those that are watching uh, that, that might hear this, Lord God, and, and not think that they're being affected by it. I pray that you bring light because the word says that you are light and there's no darkness in you at all, Lord God. So expose the, the, the plot of the enemy, Lord God, around them and uh, and let them see it for what it really is, Lord God. I just, right now, every person that, that has a, that is addicted to this stuff or that has this uh, going on in their life, Lord God, for first of all, people that are here that want to release this and say, you know what, I'm done with this. I don't want anything to do with it. Lord God, we ask for forgiveness, Lord God, for, for entertaining uh, 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 the world or entertaining uh, um, um, Satan's message, Lord God, and pray that you forgive us for doing so. And that, that, that we that you cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord God, all things that have, might have gotten in through our ear gates, Lord God, or through our eye gates, that you change us, transform us, and that those things leave our life, Lord God. And, and as we repent, Lord God, because repenting means to now turn. So I pray that you give people, Lord God, the ability and the strength and the guts to say, you know what, I'm yeah. putting this down and I turn yeah. away from it and go the other way. So, Lord God, I pray that you bring revelations through dreams, understanding, Lord God, and wisdom and, and, and revelation today, Lord God. And I just thank you that they're the people who, have, who are now making a decision to put this stuff away, that they're covered by your blood, Lord God, and that this will be the first step to their freedom in this area in their life, God. So we thank you for them. Thank you for it, Lord God. And, and we know that you uh, uh, have the power, Lord God, to set free. So I thank you for everybody right now in Jesus' name to be set free from every demonic bondage, every word curse that was put through music, all the black magic and witchcraft that was slipped into this music, Lord God. Let them be free now by the power of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your mercy and grace over our life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, that's awesome, bro. Um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. Today. Hey. Been a good, been, been a good week. Yeah, did amazing last awesome. night. Um, tell everyone how they can, they can follow you online. Awesome. Well, I have a podcast. It's called uh, Faith Talk. So F A I T H T A L K S Faith Talks podcast. And you can go to Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube, and uh, find me on there. And so we come on uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, and we yeah. just talk about faith as a family, what it's like uh, walking by faith, you know, with wife, with children, and and, 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 you know, in, in ministry and things like that. So, yeah. yeah. It's awesome, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll put everything, all, all the ways to follow him uh, in, the, in the comments below. So, awesome. hey, if you want to help us continue to get great content like this uh, out to the world, the like, world. follow, share. If you, in fact, if you made it to this point, even if you hated everything we want to say, <laughs> like, just... Just dislike it, like, and put an evil comment underneath. Like, we'll forgive you, and it'll hurt our feelings. And but, man, if you've made it this far and you've enjoyed what we've done, we'd really love it if you'd subscribe yeah. and uh, share and, and help us get the word out, man. We want to keep Absolutely. doing content like this. So, Absolutely. All right. All right. We'll catch y'all later. Yes.